how to get $250,000 in business credit in 2024. In this episode, I'm gonna share with you the real secrets on how you can walk into a bank and with no income verification in many cases, walk out with $250,000 in business credit. This is new, this is fabulous, and this is working for so many people, so I'm gonna share with you all the secrets. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big step. She can fix that. Let's fix that. So let's get right into it. I'm Noelle Randall. I am a real estate multimillionaire, entrepreneur, mentor, speaker, author, mama five, and so much more. But the fun thing is I started from the worst situation ever. I literally was in my parents' basement, broke, bankrupt with bad credit in the worst situation ever, and I was able to learn how to invest in real estate, and today I'm a multimillionaire. So I'm gonna share with you all of the secrets that I've learned along the way, but more importantly, I'm gonna share with you what's available now that was not available to me when I was in my parents' basement in 2009. So let's get into what you can do. So many people do not know that you literally can get business credit and business funding simply by walking into the bank and opening up a business checking account. People think that you have to make millions of dollars or have millions of dollars in the bank in order for them to lend you money, but that is just not true. I'm going to give you five banks right now that you can walk into and with stated income, again, no income verification, I'll say projected income, they will give you a line of credit or a combination of a line of credit, a business line of credit and a business credit card worth $50,000. And you can repeat this at all five of these banks to end up with $250,000 in business funding for your new business. Whether you have a business that's two years old, three years old, in many cases, some of these lenders will lend to a new LLC, okay? A new business, they will lend you $50,000 without you having to show them proof of that income. So let me tell you what those banks are and some of the things that they're looking for so that you can actually get approved and walk away with at least, again, at least, because in many cases, some of these banks will give you even more than $50,000. So let me get into and tell you what banks and what to do. Chase Bank. The first bank that I wanna to talk to you about is Chase Bank. Chase Bank is actually very amazing when it comes to businesses. Chase doesn't actually have a lot of things for you know people that don't have good credit or don't have any money, but one of the things that they are spectacular at is lending to businesses. They have so many different options. Not only do they have business credit cards, they have business lines of credit, they actually even have business loans, and they are one of the easiest banks to walk into and get what's called their business uh, Chase Inc. credit card, okay? If you have decent personal credit, you literally can walk into Chase Bank, open up a business checking account, and then be offered without even necessarily asking. And again, if you're not offered by your banker, you want to ask, can I get a business credit card? And in many cases, they will approve you right there on the spot. This has happened for me. I actually have numerous Chase Business Inc. credit cards. One of them has a limit of nearly $100,000. I have another one that the limit is $30,000. I have another one that's $25,000, all from different businesses. And my students have been doing this for years. Most people don't know that this is one of Chase Bank's specialties and one of the things that they have kind of earmarked where they want to do more lending in. So literally you can go to Chase Bank, open up that business checking account and get at least $50,000 between the business Chase Inc. credit card and the business line of credit. In many cases, they will give you a $50,000 loan, business loan or business line of credit again with no income verification. They literally will ask you what the gross annual income of the business is and you actually can use projected income and they will base your loan approval on that amount. So let me give you some tips and hints because for Chase Bank and the couple of the banks that I'm gonna mention in a second, these requirements are the same. So let me tell you what they are. The first one is you do actually need to have good personal credit because you are going to personally guarantee these loans and these credit cards. However, the great thing is in many cases, it will not report on your personal credit report. I do know that some people have told me that 
Um, their business credit card did report on their personal credit, but I can tell you unequivocally, hand to the sky, none of my business uh, credit cards from Chase report on my business credit card. So I'm not sure a couple of the people that have told me this, if they did not transfer like a Chase personal credit card to a business credit card or something to that effect. Or maybe they had a relationship with Chase before they had the the business relationship. I never had a, a checking account or a personal relationship with Chase before I opened up my business checking accounts. In fact, I opened up a business checking account, got the business credit card and the business line of credit, and then I opened up a personal account with them. So they never actually had my credit reporter reporting anything from me to my credit report. So the credit cards that I have that are my business's name do not report on my personal credit report. Now, the amazing thing is yes, because you are personally guaranteeing the card, you do need to have decent personal credit. So I would say a, a FICO score of at least 700 is what I am seeing where most people are getting approved. Now I've seen some people got some lower limits, like maybe only a $5,000 approval and they had a credit score in the 600. So it appears that not only do you want to make sure that you state or, or say that your business or have that your business makes at least a few hundred thousand dollars per year. Again, that's the annual number because they will lend off of that amount. And then the approval will also depend on how good your personal personal credit score is. I saw that people that had scores closer to 750 and 780 and things of that nature, they were the ones that got approved right off the gate for $50,000 in business funding. And again, in many cases, their gross annual income for the business was $500,000 or more. So if my gross annual income that I am projecting or stating that the business makes is 500,000, then they would lend about 10% of that. And again, having a credit score of about 700 or higher is ideal. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some amazing things about business credit and business funding. But if you need help with any of the things that I'm sharing in this video, please use the link below and call my friends at Justin Merch Consultant. Justin Merch is a longtime friend of mine. He has helped me with my personal credit through his company, Credit Creative Credit Solutions, but now he is an absolute expert in business credit and business funding too. And he is offering everyone that I refer a free consultation. So use the link below, go to Justin Merch Consulting, for your free consultation because they can help you not only establish and fix business credit, they can even help you get business funding. And again, this is a long-term friend of mine that has helped so many people and they are offering a free call to help you too. Go right now. Okay, let me get into this video. Number two, Bank of America. Bank of America is very much like Chase Bank and a lot of the requirements that I stated below uh, previously for Chase Bank will also be the requirements for Bank of America. But the amazing thing about Bank of America is they too are out here approving loans for businesses. They have a very similar model as Chase and so you could easily go into Chase and then walk right into Bank of America and do the exact same thing. And literally, if you do what I'm saying, you can go into Chase Bank, put in some money into a business checking account, get a business credit card or a business loan, then literally walk into Bank of America and use the money that Chase gave you to open up the account with Bank of America and then let them give you another business credit card and another business line of credit. It is simply that easy. Literally, they will have similar requirements with your personal credit score. They will still want you to personally guarantee it. You will need to have an actual business that they can find on the Secretary of State website you will need to have your EIN and a few other things again if you have any questions about what it takes to have an actual business that can get funded I have a link to my previous business videos where I'm teaching you this or again you can call my friends at Justin Merch Consulting and they can help you with this and help you get approvals so when you are at Bank of America you will do the similar thing that you did at Chase or if you choose to go to Bank of America first then Chase totally okay they both banks are not that sensitive about you having an inquiry on your credit report and the great thing about it is I do not believe that they are using the same credit bureau it appears that they are not checking the same credit bureau so let me explain that in some cases when you go to a bank some banks will check Equifax some will check Experian 
Some will check TransUnion. But based on my experience and what I'm seeing, it doesn't appear that Chase and Bank of America are pulling from the same bureau. And that is why it is a lot easier for people to walk into both of those banks pretty much on the same day or in the same span of time and then not see that hard inquiry and penalize you for you having gone to a previous bank. So this is a great benefit and why I strongly suggest you do both banks. Again, if you have a good personal credit score, you should be using it. There's no point in having a great personal credit score, looking at it, checking Credit Karma or whatever you're doing. The point of having a great bit, uh, credit score is to get you access to funding. So use your credit for what it was designed for. Now, I strongly suggest you use the money to build your business. We could talk about what you could do with the funds so that you just don't end up with debt. But at the same time, the more money you have, especially in reserves, the stronger your business will be and it'll give you more opportunity to make investments or take advantage of opportunities that come your way. Number three, Wells Fargo. So just like Chase Bank and Bank of America, Wells Fargo is pretty much the same. These are great large banks that are pretty much every single state that will allow you to open up a business checking account and allow you to apply for a business line of credit and a business credit card without an income verification. Meaning they are not going to ask to see your tax returns. If you have a good personal credit score and you are willing to personally guarantee these items, they will approve you on the spot when you are opening up that business checking account. Now, Wells Fargo is a little bit different because unlike Chase and Bank of America, who will actually in many cases give you those business credit cards and lines of credit right on the spot. In many cases, Wells Fargo will send you to underwriting and you may get a little bit scared like, oh man, um, they're not gonna approve it. But for the most part, they do appear to be approving at the same level that Chase and Bank of America is. People are getting approved every single day for these business credit cards and these business lines of credit and they are not having to show any income in order to get approved. Wells Fargo is an amazing bank and they actually have a business credit card that has this great cashback reward Rewards, very similar to the Bank of America cashback reward card, where not only are you incentivized to get these higher credit limits and these high credit lines, you actually get a cash reward. So as you use the credit card, for example, for gasoline or for travel expenses, they literally will reward you with cash back that you can use towards paying off the bill. It is an amazing thing. I use it. I think it's a great credit card. And the great thing about Wells Fargo at the time of this video they have a 0% interest rate for 12 months. So this is an amazing time if you are watching this video to go to Wells Fargo today, open up a business checking account and get that business credit card because right now they have a lots of different credit cards that have 0% interest for 12 months. Number four, Truist Bank. Truist is an amazing bank that I actually have a very good relationship with that has a $50,000 loan with no income verification. They actually have several. So not only do they have business credit cards and business lines of credit, they actually have um, are approved as an SBA approved lender and for a they have like a SBA Express. So if you've ever been to the SBA's website, which stands for Small Business Association, they will talk to you about the different SBA loans available. Sometimes they have, and I forget the exact number, you know, codes off the top of my head. It's like a SBA 701C loan or blah, blah, blah. But there's one that's called SBA Express, which is for a loan amount up to $50,000. And the great thing with Truist is they are actually one of the approved lenders for SBA Express. And so that is up to $50,000 without an income verification. And the great thing about Truist is like the, I have one more bank that I'm going to talk to you about, but they are very relationship bank based. So unlike this, this last bank that I haven't shared with you yet, Truist will do just very similar to Bank of America and Chase. They are, they are going to build a relationship with you, but they are very happy to extend credit to you right at the time of you opening up a checking account. And they are very friendly and very well versed in that SBA express loan, which will give you $50,000 in a loan. Again, you will personally guarantee it. Unfortunately, in many cases, I do believe these loans do report on your personal credit report. However, they do have um, the ability where you could transfer that balance to a business line of credit at a future time. So again, you're looking for money for your business. This is the fourth bank. You could easily walk in there and walk out with $100,000 between the business credit card, the business line of credit, 
and an SBA express loan from Truist. Now, here's the caveat. Truist is not in every single state. So like Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and Chase Bank, they are pretty much in every single state. So depending on where you are, you may not have a Truist bank near you. But the great thing about it is Truist has grown. Truist actually purchased or took over BB&T Bank and SunTrust. So now their footprint has expanded and I am seeing that Truist Banks are now in a lot more states and they are a great bank to deal with if you have a business. I strongly recommend Truist Bank. I have been with them very many years. They are much like Regions Bank. So again, not a national bank, not in every single state, but growing their footprint. Regents is another amazing option that has very similar requirements to what I just said about Truist. So although they are not the fifth one, that's a, actually a bonus bank that I'm giving you is Regents Bank. So Truist and Regents will allow you to do that. And they are approved as an SBA express lender. Let me tell you this last bank because they are amazing. Number five, PNC Bank. PNC is an amazing bank for businesses. However, PNC, unlike the all of the other banks that I mentioned, they are definitely a relationship bank. I literally had saw someone telling me that I, you know, one of my friends told me that I could get approved for $100,000 with PNC just by walking in there and open up the business checking account. Well, let me be honest with you. And at the time I had a 747 scores, what he told me from the bureau that they pulled and I got declined. Okay, that was the first time. However, when I put money into the checking account and I started doing some transactions, three months later, I went back and I um, applied and then I got approved. So PNC is an amazing bank and they will lend you up to $100,000 between their business line of credit and their business credit card. However, unlike the previous banks that I explained, they most likely will not approve you at the time of opening up the checking account. They want to see more of a relationship. They want to see more transactions. Chase is a big bank. They have tons of money. Wells Fargo, Bank of America. They can take the risk of you just having a great personal credit score and extending you that money. PNC is a great bank. They're a large bank, but they are not willing to just take that risk, open up that checking account, and then give you $100,000. However, in a matter of three months, you could get approved for $50,000 the way that Noel did walking into the bank, going back in there and reapplying for that business line of credit. And again, it doesn't report on your business checking account. I'm sharing with this with you in all honesty. I never liked telling you if I got declined for a loan, I had never been declined for a loan in years. I almost couldn't believe it when I got that letter in the mail from PNC saying that I wasn't approved, but my banker that opened up the checking account, he explained to me, they are very conservative with that. They want to see that you're actually building a relationship with them, that you're actually using that checking account and then they open up those floodgates. So PNC is amazing. You can easily get $50,000. They didn't ask for my tax returns or any of my bank statements or anything like that, but they wanted to see that I was using that checking account. Call my friends at Justin Merch Consulting. There is a link below. I gave you so much great information, but there is even more information out there and there is actually help available. My friends at Justin Merch Consultant have helped so many entrepreneurs and business owners get the funding that they need for their business and secure and solidify their own personal credit. So not only could you fix your personal credit and never touch it, you could build business credit, get business funding, and actually put yourself in a much more secure position. And the people at Justin Merch Consultant and my friend Justin Merch is the absolute best person to do that with. Use the link below. It's an absolutely free consultation. They will give you the best strategy for you. And in many cases, they could help so many people. In fact, one of my students called them and they got $75,000 and it took less than 10 days to secure that funding. Call my friends at Justin Merch Consultant today, absolutely free, and see what they can do for you. Just tell them that Noel Randall sent you because I want to make sure that you have all of the knowledge, all of the resources, and all of the tools that you need to be successful. This is Noel to your success.